All right, so I want to take a look at how we can make objects transparent using CS, CSS. Okay, so this is what it would look like. So here we have these two boxes. We have our relative positioning parent tag, and then we have our absolute position child tag. So what about if I wanted to make the content here transparent so we could see behind it often? We'll do this with a photograph. Um, so let's take a look. It's actually very easy. And this is what we do. So we open up Dreamweaver, and here I have this box right here. And what I want to do is make it have a little bit of opacity. So I'm going to come on in, and I'm going to edit this rule, and I'm going to come to Extensions. I'm going to come to Filter, and I am going to put on the opacity. Now, there's a quite a bit of information in here, so I want to go just for the old opacity one and I'm going to delete that. I'm going to put it in at 60. The higher the number, um, the, uh, the higher the number, the less transparent it is. So if I wanted to be more transparent, I'd put it 10, 20, but you can go in and play around with that. I'm going to hit OK. Now, this won't completely do it. We need to add one more, uh, one more line of CSS. I'm going to come on in, I'm going to write opacity, and I'm going to put the opacity in at 0.6. This was 60. This is 0.6. We're looking at 60%. Um, and we see it two different ways. Okay, now let's come on in and let's actually take a look at our, our what happens over here. We have the filter alpha opacity is at 60, 60 about 60%. And the opacity is 0.6. And again, we're thinking about that as 60%. That is what our code looks like. And we're going to come on in up. Oh, let's come back to CSS and let's preview this. Now, we don't see it as we look at it here um, per se, uh, but we come in and we click and voila, we have a little bit of opacity. So if we were to come back in and we wanted to lower it, we could play around with the numbers in our CSS. Again, the opacity we have a uh, 0.6 tenths, and here we have equals 60. So there's a little trick uh, working with CSS um, in Dreamweaver. And again, it's real important though to note um, what the code looks like. Now, this is a newer feature for CSS, it's actually in um, CSS3. Okay, so another thing that we want to think about is what browsers will this work on? This might not work on all on older browsers. Um, but again, uh, you know, things are changing rapidly as far as technology goes. So we'll leave with that. We could see the possibilities of lowering opacity, especially if we have a photo beneath or an image that we want to come through a little bit. Now, one thing to remember too, if I was to now go and insert text into this box, it would also be, have the opacity to it. So what I would need to do would be to insert another div tag within that div tag so my text would not have the same opacity applied to it. Thanks for listening. I'll end there.